Let's now look at the sign up process. And this is going to be pretty straightforward at this point because all we really need to do is create an authentication controller. We need to create the view, create the form that the user can enter their email address, name and password in. And then we're just going to be inserting the data into the database. We're not going to look at validation at this point because that will come later when we set up the validation library that we're going to be using. So let's make a start on the view then, just so we know what this is going to look like. And then of course we can set this up to actually submit. So over in our views, we're going to go and create a new folder here called auth. And inside of this, we can create our signup.twig file. So signup.twig. And inside of here, of course, what we want to do is extend our base template. So we can just copy this code over into here. And all we need to do now is create the form inside of here. So of course, this is all bootstrap styling. So this gets a little bit complicated, but don't worry too much about this. So we start off with a row. This is going to use the bootstrap grid system. And all we're going to do is create a six column width here. And this is going to have an offset. So it's a column medium. And we're going to offset it by three. So it's just a class with these two just in there. Pretty straightforward. So let's just type something in here and we'll go and get our controller set up and then we'll finish the rest of the form off. We've pretty much got everything we need here in terms of the structure. So over in app and controllers, we're going to create a new folder here for all of our authentication controllers. Now this includes our normal auth controller and later on our password controller for the user to reset their password. So let's start by creating an auth controller, pretty straightforward. And again, what we can do is just borrow the code from our home controller because it's going to be pretty straightforward. And I'm just going to get rid of this namespace import just up there as well. So let's paste this in here. Let's go ahead and just call this auth controller. And of course, we can get rid of that method because we don't need that in there either. OK, so now that we have this in here, we can get rid of this one as well. We want to create two methods. One is for get sign up all this is going to do is render the view and then here we can have post sign up this is what's going to happen when we actually submit the form so in here of course we have our request and our response we need them because we need to pass in the response to render the view so let's just render this view out and we'll go ahead and hook this up to our roots in just a moment okay so here we just return this view render pass in our response, pass in auth signup.twig, and that is all done. So we can make sure this works now. So over in our roots then, we want to set up our auth controller. So let's go ahead and say auth controller, and this is get sign up. We're gonna give this a name as well. So we're gonna set a name to this so we can reference it. And this is auth.signup. And of course, here we need to change the URI. So we're going to just set that to auth sign up. So now that we've got this, the last step is just to add the auth controller to our container. So over in Bootstrap app, we can come down where we've done this for our home controller. And we could actually just duplicate this down and go ahead and pass this in. So auth controller, auth controller. Remember, we always need to pass our container in. So now, hopefully, if we go over to auth sign up, okay, so of course now we need this to have the auth namespace because we put it inside of this auth directory and we'll need to just correct that there as well. And we should see, and I think as well, because we have this in a new directory, we're gonna need to import our controller because it's not within there. With this we could because this here is inside of this directory, but now we're outside of it. We just need to say, use app controllers controller and we should be good to go perfect so we can see our sign up text here and this form is just going to be in the center of the page so let's go and finish off the form so over to sign up dot twig we're going to put this inside of a panel element within bootstrap and here we're going to set this to have a panel of default like that so of course you can find all of these over on the bootstrap documentation so now we want a panel heading so this is just going to be sign up and then down here we want a panel body 
So here, let's just say sign up and we now see this. So we've got a nice little panel here and we can put our form just in here. So the form then, we need to set the action. So how are we gonna do this? Because we haven't actually hooked this up in our roots yet. So what we can do is we can take this and essentially just duplicate it down. And here we can have obviously the same URI, that's important. And here we can say post sign up instead. So here we can actually get rid of this name because this will use the same name as the auth sign up URI. So we can only we only need to set the name once. So now over in our sign up page, here what we can do is say path four and then give the name of the root. So it's just auth.signup. Here we can give a method of post and now we can submit this form. So to test it out, let's just create an input type of submit. Let's go ahead and of course we need to change this uh, root name over as well. So let's go and set this to post, that's really important. And now we just have this blank button here. But you can see if we just inspect the page that we actually have authentication public auth sign up. So it's pulled that out despite the fact that we didn't name both. Now we can click that and we go through to that route. So that's really as simple as it is. We now have two routes, one for displaying the view, one for handling the data. So let's just get rid of our submit button. And in here, we need a class of form group. And all we're gonna do in here is create a label. This is gonna be for the email address. So in here, we can enter the email. And here, we want an input type of email. So like that. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a name of email and an ID of email. So the label matches the ID of the input. So we can give it a placeholder if we want. So let's just say u at domain.com, like that. And we also need to give this a class of form control as well. That will just bring in bootstrap styling. So now we have the following. So we have the ability to enter an email. And of course we can duplicate this down for the name and the password. So let's do exactly that. Let's just grab this form group, paste it down here and just change these over. So we'll say name, this would just be the user's name. Of course the type of the input will be text. So let's change this over, this over. We can go ahead and get rid of the placeholder. We don't need that in there. And of course it still has a form control class attached to this. So now we have this. So next is the password, last but not least. So let's paste this down. Of course, the type here is going to be password. So it blanks out the password. And let's just enter the password text in there. Change this over. Go ahead and change this name over and the ID as well. So now we have our three fields that we're required to sign up. Of course, what you can do is have another field in here to confirm the password if you want to. And you can incorporate that into the validation rules later on. But we'll miss it out for now just to save a little bit of time. So now we want a button and we're going to give this a type of submit. We're going to give this a class of BTN and BTN default. Again, this is just bootstrap styling styling. And then here we can have sign up. So now we have our form. So we can click this and of course that goes through and submits the form. Easy as that. And of course, when it comes to signing in, we can just copy all of the HTML we've written for this, again, just to save a little bit of time.